Hey guys, Mikhail here with Surti K, securing the Web3 world, hanging out at GDC 2024. I'm joined by Jason, president of Gala. How you doing, Jason? And also Adam, the CTO of Gala. What are you guys doing today? Great, man. Thanks for having us. Thank you for joining us. Delighted to be here hanging out. I'm excited to be here at the Gala Hackathon. Tell me, what are you guys up to? We are not sleeping, going around the clock to build interesting projects, help out any way we can, spread the word of Gala Chain, and see what cool shit our community can come up with. Yeah. Jason, what are you looking for from a lot of these developers that are building? I want to see innovation. I want to see new stuff. Uh, I also want to see uh, novel applications of our chain technology. Uh, I just had an interesting conversation uh, down or upstairs, I guess, with the, the hackathon crew. One of the, the crews is working on building something to track uh, genetic material for plants, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so all sorts of really cool stuff uh, it's going on that I'm happy to see. Anything that's innovative. Awesome. Uh, Adam, question for you from a security perspective. I mean, like that's a very tall order to ensure that the entire infrastructure is secure. And then obviously with all these builders and what they're building, like how do you maintain security throughout the entire process? Yeah, it's it's really, you know, a disciplinary thing. It's a every step of the way you need to be thinking about it. I'm, you know, lucky to have such a good team where they're constantly thinking about security from the beginning, building uh, just locally on dev machines. Uh, private key handling processes that are, you know, don't have single points of failure, engaging with firms such as Certic to get audits done, which you guys have been excellent partners, so thank you. Um, it has to be every step of the way. You have to have that discipline. So um, it's just in vigilance, really, right? Uh, there's no such thing as perfect security, so you just got to make sure that you're always paying attention to it. And so far, it's been really working well. So if I'm a builder and I'm thinking about building on a chain, there's obviously a lot of different options out there. Why would I want to come over and build on Gala chain? Yeah, I think, um, and I touched on this a little bit in a couple of blogs I've written recently, but um, it's all about developer ergonomics to me. Many blockchains are really difficult to work with, really difficult to set up local environments, really difficult, uh, maybe it's esoteric programming languages that aren't really well known, but uh, Gala chain supports TypeScript, it's like the fifth most commonly used programming language in the world as uh, evidenced on Stack Overflow's developer uh, interviews they do every year, developer surveys. And um, that really opens up who can use it. You don't need to know Solidity. You don't need to know Rust. You don't need to know really esoteric stuff in order to work with Galchain. And then between that uh, and our SDK, our, our CLI that sets up a whole running chain for you locally, getting started can literally just be you know a couple of commands and then you use all your normal tools and kit and frameworks that you're familiar with and and you're building on chain. Like it's so easy, it's fast. Um, that's the, I think the power of Galachain. Great. Now uh, transitioning more to the community side, Jason, you're extremely like very much front facing, very much connected to the community. Why do you think there's just such a strong emphasis and importance in Web3 to be so connected to your community? Well, I think Web3 is very different from Web2 uh, in that in, in Web2, you're kind of the products, right? Um, but in Web3, you are the thing. You know, none of these projects exist without their community. We don't exist without our community. Uh, and so there's a strong emphasis on that because it, every step of the way, we depend on the community for interest, for engagement, for spreading the word. I mean, I, I think that that's one of the one of the biggest differences between web two and web three is the way that uh the way that that news spreads um it's a much more viral person to person sort of peer-to-peer -peer almost uh spread of information as opposed to a you know we are a company and here is a piece of information for you that we push out to an entire massive community base uh, or not community base uh customer base in that in that you know event i mean so it's just a it's a very different approach and, and and talk to me a little bit about the the partnerships. Obviously, we're out here with AWS, mm -hmm. they're a partner of yours. Anything else that you can announce here while we're talking? You just ask for alpha. Yeah, they just asked for alpha. Shall you capitulate? There, there's a lot that is uh, that is taking place right now uh, in in the entire Gala ecosystem. One of the things that is standing out very clearly in our conversations with people is the deep interest in our place 
in the in the very early days of of Deepin. Um, you know, when when Deepin started being something that people were talking about in you know crypto Twitter, I was like, what the hell is this Deepin thing? And then I went and I looked at it, I'm like, oh, the thing is us. It's weird that we've been doing this whole time. We've been doing this forever. <laughs> Um, you know, and I, I don't know if you're you're aware of this, but you know, get the Gala Node ecosystem supports, depending on how you want to measure it, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of eighty percent of the traffic that moves through uh, IPFS's DHT servers, we're eighty percent of those servers. So anytime you go query something on uh, IPFS, you call a CID, it's going through lots of Gala nodes to get that information. And that's extremely important uh, for us because it shows, you know, the the place that we have in that larger ecosystem. And uh, as we have conversations with people, this particular statistic stands out quite clearly to them as a, oh, I think we should probably pay attention to these people. Um, so we're having some very cool conversations. Can't name names at this point, unfortunately. Um, that would get me in a lot of trouble, but uh, we're talking to everybody. Well, I just heard that we've got 13 projects that have signed up for building custom node workloads. So if they can say that, 17, 17. 17. Oh, just a few extras. And, you know, the, the really cool thing about the, the Gala node infrastructure is it's meant to run kind of any workload that you can dream up. So yeah. similar to the way Gala Chain's built, developer ergonomics being at the forefront, same thing with our, our node ecosystem, right? If you can package it up in a Docker container, we can handle the deployment, the the scheduling, the the maintenance, the roll out is every aspect of actually building a decentralized footprint to get on top of it's all included gala nodes are amazing amazing we covered security we covered partnerships community anything else our audience needs to know about i'm just gonna publicly say stuff and then when i publicly say stuff I me mean, as the I engineer have... has to make the thing <laughs> make it go <laughs> because now there's been a a, a, a public commitment um, as I understand it, we're getting uh, quite close uh, to people being able to come and uh, build and deploy self-service their own node uh, deployments. So they'll be able to, you know, up assign node licenses, uh, you know, spin up their own workloads, and also allegedly, I'm I'm, I'm looking at at Adam here. Uh, we're getting pretty close to the ability to deploy your own token on Gala Chain uh, with a few clicks and some variables. And uh, what that means is uh, meme coin season is going to be coming to Gala Chain. Meme coin and other applications. And other applications. But um, but you know that somebody's going to get oh, a yeah. meme coin that stuff. It's chicken rat coin all the way. So it sounds like at Gawa, you guys are really building throughout this conversation. Like right now, this is innovation. Like this is happening. This is the very, very yeah, this, this is all <laughs> stuff that's actually <laughs> happening. <laughs> These um, are all surprises to me in time. Okay. No, no. no. Okay. Um, but it's just, we, we don't usually uh, put the public uh, timelines for these sorts of things out. So I think this is the the first we've talked about some of these things publicly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of really amazing stuff that's happening in the ecosystem. And I think that, you know, when we all started this, you know, years ago, um, you know, we made a commitment to build something amazing. We made a commitment to build something that was in the ethos of, of decentralization and Web3 and to build it better. And through market cycle after market cycle. We have continued to build. We have not stopped. We have not idled. We have not, you know, gone into hibernation like projects. We have been building this entire time. And um, what you're beginning to see right now is the the very, very, very tiny tip of the iceberg um, as it uh, surfaces out of the depths of stuff that has been accomplished over mm. the last four years. And yeah, I'm super excited about it. A lot of innovation, obviously. You have Gala Games, you have Gala Film, you have Gala Music. How do you guys have the bandwidth to do all of this? Well, I mean, it, it really comes down to like repeatable processes and tools. You know, I think what Jason was touching on is we do a lot of this kind of quick hit kind of uh, innovation on a short cycle and we do it manually first, right? But then behind the scenes, we're constantly improving the way we do these things. So we are talking about, you know, a couple button click token deployments. Like those are internal tools that we've been using this whole time. 
Uh, and we've always thought, you know, for thinking that we should make this public, right? Um, even open source in some cases. Mm -hmm. But uh, dog fooding internally is a really common thing in the industry, right? Making sure that your own tools work for the purposes that you design them for and then give them to the world, right? Release them to the public. So I, I would say that it's not really common in the industry. Um, we sure. Well, okay. Yeah, good point. Actual development isn't super common in the industry, unfortunately. Um, but, uh, we're, yeah, I think, I think the other thing that's, that's part of this is that it's not necessarily, um, us that is pushing these things forward. Um, you know, what our goal is, is to be platform, not publisher. So to enable hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other people to come and build, um, without being the ones that actually have to do, you know, release this music and make this game. Um, you know, make this workload be the tool that other people use to do that. That's how you magnify and scale. And as you are building all of this stuff, obviously security is coming into priority. You mentioned yes. it yeah. earlier in the conversation. What's What has it been like working with CertyK on the security side? Uh, it's been an absolute joy. Um, there's been more than one occasion where you guys have found something uh, that's been really helpful and protective for us. So, um, you guys respond quickly. You're super smart. I don't know. I've I've had nothing but a great time working yeah. with Certic. Absolute uh, pleasure working with your team. Well, we certainly love working with Gala as well, and certainly looking forward to seeing all the amazing innovation and seeing all these amazing developers come on board. And so we're really excited about that as well. We need to get some sort of pipeline set up so that people who want to build on Gala Chain have a uh, direct connection to your to your team. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you might be onto something. Like you probably worked something That's out. Great idea. Yeah. So I guess I'm Mikhail here with Serti K hanging out at GDC 2024 at the Gala Hackathon. We're having a great time and thank you all for tuning in.